meditation practice. Let's talk about why we wish to practice meditation. You are a soul who've been through many, many experiences on many different dimensions and world planes. And you got to the point where you had reaped quite a lot of good karma. And so you got to be born and have a physical body. You hear people say all the time, you're not just a body, you are a spirit, you are immortal consciousness. And you are, it's true. However, once you're here in this body, this body is used by the divine to help you awaken for your enlightenment, for your kundalini to be awakened. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that at the base of your spine, there runs along your spine something that is called a shashumna. It is this hollow tube that has all the chakras running alongside it. And at the bottom of this ethereal spine is what is called Kundalini. And this is the most magical part of being in a physical body. For this Kundalini, when it is drawn up through the Shashumna, it begins to activate the chakras. And those chakras activate your higher evolution and take you into these beautiful divine dimensions. Now, this big head we all have with this huge lot of brain, <laughs> why is it that we don't use much of this brain? You hear the scientists and your neurologists will tell you, oh, you don't use much of the brain. It's because it is awaiting. Everything has a purpose that God made. It is awaiting for that kundalini to come up and go through that crown chakra, go all the way up, because at the moment, most people's shashumna is blocked. It is blocked by past experiences. But just let's not go into too much detail. Let's just say it's blocked. So when we meditate, we meditate on, well, I always like to teach the heart chakra to start with, which is actually along the spine. It's actually just parallel to where you think the middle is. And your heart chakra, a lot of people meditate when they first begin to med practice meditation here. So you can feel it. Oh. Because once this heart chakra is activated, your meditations are extremely blissful. And once that heart chakra is meditated, you are asking, you are helping bring, draw up that kundalini which is Shakti, up through that canal, up through that Shashumna. And then when you practice meditation, I recommend you do it twice a day or three times a day, please, if you can. In the beginning, to practice meditation in the morning, if you're going to a, a job where you have to work, it's good to practice on your third eye to start with. You want to have it drawing up because if you meditate on the lower chakras, you will have the kundalini just move a little bit, but then the postman will start to look too attractive. <laughs> You'll start to feel a little bit too sexy. You don't want to stay stuck there with the kundalini down there. So people, when they say, oh, start meditating on the chakras downwards, no, 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 please, please really, truly begin with your heart chakra. In the mornings, though, you can do the third eye, and in the evenings, you can practice meditating on the heart chakra. And we're not going to go into a whole lot of detail here. I'm going to actually email you a few little gifts uh, tomorrow or the next day so that you can watch the video, the practice of meditation and, and listen to my audio book that I did with Bob Proctor, Become a Magnet to Money Through the Sea of Unlimited Consciousness, so that you can go, the first half of the book goes into more of the things you can do for your mind to start clearing your mind and bringing in positive thoughts so you can attract success. The second half of the book goes much, much deeper through the sea of unlimited consciousness and allows you to be open and receptive to see what level of consciousness you may be at right now and what you can do. The pitfalls, the challenges that will happen as you go through your meditation practice so that you can go through your evolution. The evolution 
every single person on this planet has the capability because of this beautiful kundalini to awaken because once that kundalini that shakti starts entering the brain it's like electrical divine currents yogananda paramahansa said it perfectly there's the best way to say it the divine electrical currents and anyone who has had a lot of kundalini sent to them that light sent to them you begin to feel to start with if you're clear enough to begin with that light that's being sent to you you'll start feeling it in your brain like little tingles and maybe little itches and divine electrical currents sometimes little pricks it's like whoa what's that and that is the light that's being sent to you is helping attract that kundalini to come up to the come up through the shashumna so that your crown chakra can be activated i don't recommend that you meditate on your crown chakra because of the fact that you want it to happen and unfold in a way where you can handle it you've heard of god's grace i think god's grace you are not given more spiritual experience than you can handle you have this beautiful diamond this soul that is your immortal consciousness and it's simply been blocked like every time you've had a, an experience another layer of ice a little bit of yucky stuff gets around this beautiful diamond and it pulls to you those experiences through your memory you start feeling reactionary about a person place or thing because it reminds you of something that happened in the past and the light that is transmitted assists to have that melt away now I'll speak about that in a little bit more detail in just a little while but to begin with meditation practice is something that is going to assist you to awaken now even if you only did it 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening if you you'll notice in just a week how amazing you'll begin to feel 